let's say no for now or even hints if you want to drop a hint that uh that doesn't spoil the entire experience then yeah let's let's go with that that would be fine Is it, I guess, my, my, I wonder, like, is it part of the theme that it, we're clearly viewing this through a VHS recording? They talk about dreams as well. So if you've been following along with the Forgotten City, or if you haven't been following along with Forgotten City, I should say, uh, last week we I made a lot of progress and I got a bow That turns people into gold. It's got a Midas touch. There's a lot of talk about a machine at the end Perhaps you experience things a bit differently than they truly are uh, Whispering girl needs some help. Um, I kind of forget what I was trying to accomplish. We also discovered a lot of hidden caves and convenient bodies inside of them. Oh, right. Yes. Um, underground cavern gate is uh, strong. Underground cavern gate... Um, Right, we actually have a- we've- we've unlocked a lot of, uh, forms of travel here now. Why can't I climb up that? Okay, that's not working. Can we climb up this? Oh, you know what? I think I already... This is where I came from. This is where I came from, and this is where I got the bow in the first place. I'm locking myself in. Don't try to follow me. Nothing good will come of it. True. Um, so what I want to do now is do a bunch of exploration around the city to find areas that I could that were previously inaccessible to me That's what we're doing right now If there's a chance that you are joining me uh, that you and you have not joined me in previous forgotten city uh streams then do know that this is a very spoiler heavy a spoiler heavy game and uh if you have any interest in playing this game for yourself you probably do not want to watch me play it i say that with love hey, you know it'd, it'd be nice to have you but you know not not a not a big deal there's always there's always next week okay we need to we need the key for that lock Clearly something is going on in there Oh, 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 oh. oh you I was looking for you to watch over you. I'm Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this? I've been asking people about how they wound up here trying to find a pattern. Interesting. I'm not sure why you're telling me, but you've come to the right person. Did you find a pattern then? 
Some people mentioned a coin. Yes, I suppose that could be something. But then most of us do tend to carry coins on our person, don't we? What else? Some people mentioned memory lapses. That's true. I know I wasn't entirely sure how I wound up here. What else? Some people mentioned an encounter with a stranger on the riverbank. Hmm, yes. I also had such an encounter. It's as I feared. I think I understand what poor Livia has been going through. Let me ask you this. Did you happen to encounter a stranger in the forest before you arrived here? Yeah, her name was Karen. And did you happen to catch her name? I see. And was this Karen by any chance wearing a hood? She was wearing a hoodie. How could you have known that? Because I've seen her before. There's something I think you should see. I think you'd better follow me to the baths. It's not safe in there. An assassin just arrived. Uh, what? How could you know that? And why are you talking to me instead of doing something about it? Please, go and stop him, and come back to me once we're no longer in danger. Okay, okay. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? How come you're not allowed a weapon and I'm not? And it, and it, and it, and it, and it, and it, and it. Gotta tell her not to go into that thing. Um, I'll get right on it. Thank you. Do not go in there. What? Trust me. Okay. Now I gotta go tell the assassin to do the same. Although, shouldn't I tell him to kill the magistrate? Hope this goes well. Nah, we'll, we'll try that in a future loop. The empty shrine. Um... Uh, yes, I saw him worshipping a small round shrine just inside the city. Thank you for your sir. Can I steal his bow again? What would be the point of that, I suppose? I mean, honestly, I would like to take the bow and just throw it down into the chasm. Here we go, assassin. Hey, in it. Go in that air uh, shrine there, in it, my air uh, down, governor. <sighs> yeah, I know. Even even I am exhausted by myself sometimes. Filthy lying degenerate. One denarii. He did. He did have a coin. They, we've been talking about the. Uh, is this the non-golden bow? Do I have two bows now? I do have two golden bows. Or sorry, two. I have one golden bow and one non-golden bow. Um. He had a golden coin. I don't know if you noticed that. Or a denarii. Which um, follows in line with the theme of you need a denarii to get in here. I in it. Wait, is this the magistrate? Am I going the right way? I don't think I'm going the right way. Is it in here? Okay, there we go. Alve. Alve, my. I take it you <laughs> the way to I just the got your joke. I'm follow a ten. me, but don't follow too closely. We can't have people thinking we're bathing together. Why not? What's wrong with that? I kind of wish this feature was in a lot of other games. Just press the button and you'll follow it exactly the right pace. Is eight meters too close? Also, that doesn't look like eight meters to me. Oi, 
is that a UK reference? Mate, in it. Governor. was wearing a hood. Here, look down at the bottom of the baths. It's a little hard to make out in this light. If only we could see. Oh, what a marvelous lamp. But do you see it? Somebody waking up by a river in a forest to find a hooded figure with a coin. It's just as you described it, only your pronunciation is a little off. The name you heard wasn't Karen. It was C H A R O N, uh, as in Charon, the ferryman of the dead. Charon, who, in exchange for the right coin, helps the souls of the newly deceased cross the Styx, the river that separates the land of the living from the land of the dead. Yo, is this a Hades reference? When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, but all I found was some loose change. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm so, so sorry. I take it you know what this means. We're all dead? This place is the underworld. I'm afraid so. It's all starting to make sense. All these people, whose last memory was running from the fires toward the river. It seems none of them escaped with their lives after all. Perhaps we should be grateful they don't remember their final moments. It also tells us that the Golden Rule is the work of Pluto, the god of the underworld, and why his epithet has always been father of riches. I know it's a lot to take in, and you look as if you have questions, so I'll try to answer them if I can. Karen is Greek, isn't it? Yeah, well, everything, well, everything's kind of Roman Greek right now. So we're dead? That was my first thought too. In the old stories, the underworld was where the souls of the deceased were taken. But it was also possible for the living to reach it without dying, if they were particularly fearless. So I'm afraid I don't know. What can you tell me about Karen? Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting you're not from here. If you were Roman or even Greek, you would know these stories. Each of them is slightly different. Whether the storyteller was Plato, Homer, Virgil, or Ovid. But they always involved the souls of the dead, meeting a grim ferryman named Charon on the bank of a river. It was said that he'd helped the new arrival cross only if they could pay him with a coin, an obol. That's why it was once our custom to bury our loved ones with a coin in their mouths. Charon's obol, we called it. Of course, an obol was a kind of Greek coin, because we inherited this knowledge from the Greeks. Why didn't you all recognize Karen immediately? To be fair, the ferryman isn't exactly as the poets described. And he, she, they, they seem to appear to different people in different guises. You say you saw a young woman named Karen with a hood. And I once heard Kabash mention a stranger in a ram headdress named Kirti. And Rufius described meeting a stranger named Kamut Tabal wearing an eagle headdress. But whatever form this stranger took, they were always wearing a hood of some sort. And their name always began with a K sound. I suspect the only way you'll solve this riddle is if your paths cross again. Yeah, this is my question. Is why are there so few people in the underworld? Good question. Let's see. In the stories, Charon would always require a coin as payment for passage across the river. But that never made any sense to me. What does an ancient immortal being need with coins? Yeah. In our case, it seems Charon didn't take the coins we had. He or she merely checked we had one in our possession. So, maybe there's something special about the coins each of us had on us. 
But that might explain why we wound up here, but so many others did not. Hmm. Which, why were you trying to keep this from me? No. I mean, I had my suspicions, especially after Livia's ramblings, but I would never have figured it out without your help. I promise you. Now that we know where we are, we have to figure out what to do about it. If we don't want to be cast into gold for eternity, we don't have much to go on, except the old stories. I remember four in particular about heroes in the underworld. Hercules, the demigod and son of Jupiter. Orpheus, a Thracian poet. Sisyphus, a king of Ephyra. And Aeneas, a Trojan hero. Hercules was able to leave the underworld because he cowed its god with his strength. Sisyphus and Orpheus both relied on their wits instead. They persuaded the goddess of the underworld, Proserpina, to help them escape. And finally, Aeneas was able to escape with the help of a spirit guide, who led him through a secret gate. So it seems you have two options. To confront the god of the underworld head on, or find a way to escape with the help of Proserpina or some other guide. Can't we just escape the way we came in? It's a reasonable question, but the problem is, this place is fairly well designed to keep us here. There's no way to climb up the shaft. And even if you could build a ladder big enough, just trying it would break the golden rule. We know that, thanks to the writings left behind by those who've tried. I've noticed you seem uncomfortable calling the god of the underworld by his name. Why is that? All Romans try to avoid saying it, and the reason is quite simple. He might hear us. You may refer to him as Pluto, if you wish, but you'll only be calling attention to yourself. Do so at your own peril. Someone is calling me. Tell me more about confronting Pluto head on. Is everyone so blunt where you're from? Oh. That option would be the boldest, but also the only way to learn the truth about the golden rule and maybe even put an end to it. As I said, Hercules managed to overpower the god of the underworld, but he was a demigod. Forgive my candor, but you are no Hercules. Wow. Uh, Hercules couldn't manipulate time or turn organic matter into gold. I have a true few tricks up my sleeve. I admit, you do seem different to anyone I've ever met. And even that lamp of yours looks like something Prometheus might have stolen from the gods. So, if you want to confront him, I'll help you as much as I can. Who knows? Perhaps your name will be uttered in the same sentence as Hercules one day. Yeah, but along first, with Hercules, you Bimble. You need an audience with you-know-who, and for that, you'll need to enter the great temple overlooking the city. The problem is, the door has been sealed shut for as long as I've lived here, and there doesn't even seem to be a keyhole. I suspect the answer lies in the desecrated obelisk in front of it. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there are four plaques missing from its base. It looks as though somebody, or a series of somebodies, forcibly removed them, and in doing so, dishonored and angered our Divine Keeper. If you could recover and replace all four of those missing plaques, I imagine he might be willing to receive an audience again. What can you tell me about the obelisk? It's the towering stone monument with four sides and a pyramid-shaped head that stands before the great temple, a dedication to the god of this place. You'll find them all over Rome, but of course they were looted from Egypt many years ago. It seems one of them made its way here too, although how is a mystery. However, this one is unusual in that each of the four sides is decorated in a different style, Roman, Greek, Egyptian, and another I don't recognize. That means you'll need to recover four different plaques. Roman, Greek, Egyptian, and a fourth, a mystery plaque. Where would I find the Roman plaque? Good question. To answer that, we first need to ask who would have defaced the obelisk in the first place. It would have had the god's name engraved into it, so it may be that whoever desecrated it wanted that name to be forgotten. And there's only one group of people I know of 
who might want to do that. Christians? There's a cult in Rome that often argued there is only one true god. Theirs, of course. They've been known to start fires, as well as deface religious monuments whose existence challenged their beliefs. If I were you, I'd go looking for them. Of course, they've all been in hiding since the fire last year, so finding them won't be easy. But I did hear a rumor they have a secret shrine somewhere in the city. Perhaps, if you could find that, you might be able to recover the Roman plaque. Greek plaque? I don't know. But perhaps you should begin your search with the local Greek fellow, Georgius. His store is in the forum. Hmm. Perhaps Kabash, our Egyptian resident, will be able to tell us. Unfortunately, he disappeared weeks ago. But I did hear Aurelia is peddling rumors about him at the tavern. So, perhaps you could talk to her. Or just take a look in his room. Ask Aurelia about Kabash. Why does it say X? I'm is, is he already dead? With that one. But perhaps finding the other three will illuminate the way. Escaping with the help of Persepina. Per Persepina or a guide. As I mentioned, both Orpheus and Sisyphus were said to have persuaded Persepina to help them escape, and Aeneas was guided to the exit. The problem is, those are the stories of a poet, a self-aggrandizing king, and a brawler about their own heroic deeds, so they should be taken with a grain of salt. First, Proserpina. What we do know about her is, well, it's a grim tale. It's said the god of the underworld abducted and dragged her here against her will, forcing her into marriage. So she might be willing to work against him to help us? If the stories are true, then I suppose so. The problem is, how do we communicate with her without being noticed by her captor? Leaving that aside for a moment, there is also the possibility of a spirit guide. I don't suppose you've come across one of those in your travels? I hear the female statues whispering to me every now and then. Truly? But you're only bringing this up now? Then again, I suppose you were worried I'd think you were as mad as Navia. Can you tell me more? Persephone? Is it the same voice? What kinds of things does it Different say? people, aren't they? Always the same voice, and she's helpful, if a little cryptic. Fascinating. Perhaps she's a benevolent spirit. Or perhaps... Hmm. Perhaps you're hearing the voice of Persephone herself. If she has indeed been abducted, it would make sense for her to speak in cryptic whispers to avoid detection. Tell me, has she told you anything that might lead you to the way out? Oh, I see. Well, let me know if you hear anything that might be a thread through this labyrinth. All right. All right. I would suggest not discussing this with anyone. The best we can do for them is to let them remain oblivious for as long as possible. As for Livia, it seems she's been shouldering the weight of this terrible secret all this time. Perhaps it would comfort her to know she's not alone. Uh, I'll have a chat with Livia. I'm not, I can't remember who that is, to be honest. In any case, time is of the essence, so you'd best begin. May Fortuna guide you. Although you may not need her with Proserpina on your side. That's the Roman name for her. Okay, let's go talk to Livia. I think, is she the one that rambles?
Ouchies. Cerberus lifts his triple head and lets out his threefold. Was peeling gold people thinking she would save them. Those are two different people. You're thinking of uh, Navia. Navia was the one that was peeling gold people. Imitating their previous lives, but they are ignorant. This again. You're in a world of your own, aren't you? Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. I figured it out. I know where we are. Say it. Speak its name. The underworld. Then it is true. I was right. You were. I thought... I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. I had to tell myself it was true over and over again. Until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. I'd found comfort in reciting the metamorphoses by our great poet Ovid. He gives such an uncanny description of this place. I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? Sure. I will do my best to remember the relevant verse. There is a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites, and the ghosts of those, at last, given proper burial. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid and the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city, where Black Dis has his cruel palace. As the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all the souls, and is never too small for any populace, nor notices the crowds that come. There the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Some crowd the forum, some the house of the ruler of the depths. Others follow their trades, imitating their previous lives. And still others incur punishment. I hope I have done it justice, and now we share a secret. It's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders. Thank you, friend. I think I should rest. Friend, you have given me hope. May you follow in the footsteps of Hercules and return to the light of day. Okay. Um, so I think uh, what I'll do is I'll do the Greek plaque because I have a funny feeling I know where to find the Christian church. There's a couple of things I want to do first. There's a couple of secrets I've been uh, hoping to discover. Like this one over here. Oh, wrong bow. Daenerys. Just, just treasure. Why not? I might also be able to do something fun here. Golden apple. I'm surprised there is no achievement for that, honestly. Yo, he's YouTube pointing. There's something over there. It's 
So I have a funny feeling I'm gonna need some golden eggs, huh? Is there a secret behind this? I really like the uh, the music in this game. It's really kind of like, I don't know, atmospheric. Maybe even a little bit um, spooky. We got a lot of money. I forget how to get there's a there's a like the extra basement downstairs I would like to get down there You know where I met the uh, the weird old man that wanted to challenge me out of philosophers Argument Is there a way to go up there I don't think there's anything up there I think maybe I'm headed in the right direction. Oh, hey, there's a fun little Easter egg. It's Karen. I have to assume that that means something too, but we don't know what yet. Right, I can get up here now. I, I, I don't like carrying two bows. It makes it very confusing and then I waste an arrow. So this is the Roman plaque. Okay. A wood carving with a symbol of a fish carved into it. It looks like it might be a religious in a religious nature. Did I accidentally find the, uh, this is a Roman plaque. So this is a Christian church. I did not mean to find this. Pluto, father of riches. Might fall asleep soonish. Haven't slept in ages. Last time I was like, I don't know, some weird cult set fire to Rome. <laughs> no worries. A circular stone disc with a symbol of a fish carved into it. Looks like it might be a religious in nature. I'm assuming there must be multiple ways to get here. I don't act. I don't have to actually have uh, Have to have the golden bow uh, Excuse me Okay, that wasn't actually what I was trying to accomplish, but, um, you know, cool. Uh, I was trying to find, um, the entrance. Possibly the last, well, we know that's not true, because I've already found, like, two bottles of wine. Um, I was trying to find the, uh, entrance to that underground area. Well, Rufius. Vote for Maliolus for a free drink at my tavern. Oh, you're here. I'm and uh, I hope I'm not desert. Um, not interested. Oh, I see. You prefer the company of men. Maybe you should go and make friends with Ver. <sighs> I take back what I said. Let's just. 
Looking for Kabash, have you seen him? Not for a few weeks now. Last time I saw him, he was sitting at a table with Georgius, whispering about some job. I remember because they kept looking over their shoulders as if they didn't want anyone else to know. So, uh, naturally, I hovered. What are you doing? The one word I kept hearing was vanishing. And then, the next day, Kabash just disappeared. Coincidence? I think not. Okay. All right. See ya. You're just brushing your, your glass. But the buyer beware. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Horatius chest. Yeah, um, does anyone remember where? Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this. Maybe, maybe later I get a bow that turns them on into gold. Maybe if I shoot them with a normal bow, it turns them not into gold. Nope. Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't it be funny if I just like happen to discover that? Oh, there's something up there. Yo, can you imagine how much this would suck, by the way? Like, climbing up golden leaves would cut so badly. Look at all that money. We got a ton of money now. As if that matters much. Can I turn this guy into gold? No, that's weird. I can climb up here. Didn't even realize I could do that. I can just like climb. You actually have quite a lot of freedom in this world. It, it looks uh, like it seems like a very restrictive world, but actually you, you have a lot of freedom to just roam around. Okay, okay, all right. You can't you can't go out anywhere. You can go a lot of places, but not everywhere. Um So we gotta talk to Georgius. Oh, shiny. I don't know if I've talked to Fabia. I guess I must have talked to Fabia. Yeah, she's the one that was gonna fall uh, walk into the shrine. You you took care of You had a tragic accident in that shrine. An accident? So it's over. I I do have a question though. That shrine. Uh if I said yes I'd be admitting to murder. I don't understand Oh, I see. I should probably keep my big mouth shut then. Sorry. I promise nobody else will ever know what you did, but I know. Basement where the first zombie you met really also has a line. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Oh, speaking of which, welcome. I'm Fabia. Sorry I was a bit frantic before. Need anything? The first zombie you met also had a, has a line. Also, area left on the cliff that dude jumped from had one. I wonder if there's a theme about wine here. Yeah, what's your story? I haven't talked to her. There's not much to tell. I mostly just bake bread and try to help out where I can. 
How did you end up here? I suppose it all started about eight months ago. I was living in Rome with my Their family eyes when scare I got me. sick. Terrible timing. My pa had just arranged a husband for me. A fisherman's son. I was about to meet him for the first time when I came down with an awful fever. I spent the next week in bed. Pa paid priests to make offerings to Asclepius, a white rooster, then a goat. But nothing worked. In the end, they decided I'd do better outside the city. Clean air in the countryside would do me good, they said. But after about a day in a carriage on the Appian Way, I was getting worse, not better. I remember closing my eyes for a bit, and I guess I must have fell asleep, because when I opened them again, I was in a forest by a river. I suppose the driver took off with his fee and left me for dead. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't have wanted to catch what I had either. Anyway, I went searching for help, stumbled across the trapdoor temple, and here I am. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's nice of you to say, but you should save your sympathy. Do you know a way out of here? What? You've been here a few moments and you're desperate to get out already? Why not give the place a chance before you try to leave? Good people here. Galerius works hard on the farm so I can put food on our tables. And Lucretia tries to keep us healthy. My friend Georgius is always mending our clothes. And Virgil makes sure these old walls don't fall down around us. Well, he... he does his best. I'm just saying, there are worse places you could live out your days. Uh, fair enough. What do you think about the golden rule? Oh, I try not to worry about it. I mean, if people are nice to each other, we won't have anything to worry about, will we? I like your optimism. Thanks. And I like your teeth. They're so <laughs> white. And your clothes. Oh, I bet my friend Georgius would like to get a look at you. And I'm sure he'd love to chatter about the golden rule. Yeah, where is too. Georgius? He'll be just across the forum in his shop. Any idea who's threatening Virgil? Mm, terrible shame, that is. Maybe this will help. Late last night, I was cleaning my oven when I heard some noises outside. The forum's usually dead quiet at that hour, so I came out to see what was going on. To be honest, I thought maybe poor old Dooley had got out of his cell and was snooping around again. So I put my head out and saw someone in front of Virgil's shop. I couldn't tell who. It was too dark. I called out to them, but they just turned and ran off without a word. All I remember is they ran past a lit torch, and the light glinted off something metallic. Armor, I think. Oh. So I suppose it could Rufius? only be one of three people. Horatius, Domitius, or Rufius. I hope that helps. Right. Thanks, it does help. All right. Thanks again. I'm assuming that it is uh, one of them who it has a thing for... Uh, I can't remember his name. Not De Decius. Decius is the scumbag. Who's the who's the one? This guy? Sometimes Virgil. I stare at the great temple on the bluff, and I think whatever is in ah. I think some one of them has a thing for Virgil, and uh, Virgil turned them down. So uh, rather than take it gracefully, they have decided to uh, be a jerk to poor Virgil. That's my theory. You old flatterer. What are you like? His name is Steve Minecraft. You're right. I'm sorry. I forgot. Steve Minecraft. You're right. <laughs> Yo, is that more wine? No. No. I don't want that. Show me the wine. That's fish juice. Yummy fish juice. Fish juice. Fish juice. Roly poly fish juice. Fish juice. Fish juice. Drink it down. Yum. Producing fresh water, which is coming from the aqueduct behind it. If water can enter the city via the aqueducts, maybe perhaps there's also a way to escape through them. Perhaps. 
I'm assuming there's an optional ending where you could just escape and then everyone everyone here just dies horribly. Oh, I got to I got to save what's your face so that I can also save the guy from jumping off the uh, cliff. Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. What are you doing? I have the resin what? here. Here you what go. That? I heard she got so sick earlier and went to find medicine. But how could you know she needed this exact medicine? You just and maybe she can tell us who poisoned her and who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. In the meantime, I'm happy. I'm good. That's a shit. I meant the the vine, not wine. Oh, about the basement thing. You know that green thing you turn into gold to climb, right? Basement where the first zombie you met also had a vine. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sometimes I stare to guide ten pounds of life. And I see what I Can you turn poop into gold? I wrote this was interrupted, perhaps tragically. Are you talking? You're talking about the septum. Excuse me, there's a doorbell. I'll be right back. To see a movie didn't even have to see okay tilt what do you mean tilt whoa there's a photo mode in this game kind of cool i was curious about that i saw it say that and i was like hmm yo can i turn a frog into a into gold Okay, let's uh let's go oh, into the septum. Have I got in here? Yeah, this is the same. Okay. Hey! You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Cistern, not septum. No. Uh not really no. Good. You be eating a uh fair enough. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I won't lie, uh, these golden lads down here are very creepy to me. 
like the first time i saw that i was like whoa and there's actually combat in this game it's just so surreal ah. wow i did not do that well I performed that very poorly. You're right. I forgot about this. Uh, I'm assuming if I do this, I, I might actually doom the entire... I might do doom the entire city. listening to the song Shrek's Fairy Tale Freestyle, new Shrek, it's a real classic. Um That's not something you like to see. You don't really like to see that. Oh, isn't this a magistrate's daughter? Who? Who are you? Did he send you? I'm Bimple, and nobody sent me. That's what I say you. at parties. You have to help me escape before that monster comes back. What monster? What is going on here? I'm Centella. Yeah, Centella. I found a way out through the Gate of Horn, but it's locked. So I told him about it, and instead of helping me escape, he locked me up. He wants to keep us all here forever. Or until we're turned to gold. He's a monster. You have to let me go so we can kill him and take his key. Who did this to you? Sentius, my adoptive father. Furies help me. Furies? I'll castrate and crucify him. Oh, tell me... Telling me you're, you're a furry here? How hasn't this broken the golden rule? I don't know. He said the gods are on his side because they don't want us to escape either. Where is the way out? Behind me. There's an aqueduct tunnel bringing water from outside the city, so it should lead us outside. The only problem is it's barred by a heavy locked gate, and he has the only key. What will you do if I release you? I'm going to take that key from around his neck. Even if it means cutting his throat to get it. I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. Help me, and we can escape together. What about the others? There won't be enough time. Just you and me. Mm. What do you say? I let you go. Everyone else is going to die. Yeah. What if I round everyone up so they're ready to escape once the golden rule is broken? There is that option as well. There's no time. Wait, oh no. Did you hear that? He's here. Quick. You have to let me go. It's now or never. I'm sorry, but no. What? No. You can't just leave me here. How can you be so heartless? What are you talking about, lady? You're like talking about dooming the entire city. Let me see if I can persuade Sentius to let us go. Our escape. Uh, tip. This will prioritize the new quest, showing its objective markers only. It's no use. You'll never persuade him of anything. I'm telling you, he's a monster. Please. Uh, I can be fairly persuasive. <laughs> You're making a mistake. Um, she's, she's really annoying, <laughs> like instantly. You know, like, I, I understand you're in a very bad position here. I understand that, but you're talking about everyone dying. I get that you want to leave. I understand that. I am empathetic to that, but like, come on. So this is the locked door she's talking about. 
than what's up here. Oh, is this? Right, this is uh, that door I couldn't get into. I could be doing so much, so much more important things right now, but nah. Yo, it me. Hit me forever. Yikes forever. Can I just jump down here? Well, that was less than graceful. <laughs> I'll talk to the magistrate. This will probably not go well, but you know, I gotta try. Uh, my my assumption is well the thing is i was gonna say like maybe i could get the assassin to kill uh the magistrate not the magistrate sorry m um margius whatever his name is you know you know who i'm talking about malleus i could get the uh assassin to kill him in future runs um but like you know it's it's kind of a big whatever you know because like that's just gonna break the golden rule anyway so what would be the point, you know? Hard, difficult to loophole the golden rule, you know? It's it's fairly um, absolute. Is that are those planks gold or is it just me? He watches through their eyes. Are we talking about Pluto? Lunar pendant. Sendia diff. I work with string theory and some of the world's most complex mathematics, but nah, Shrek. I mean, honestly, what is there more to life? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unraveling the secrets of the universe, whatever. Come on. It's Shrek or Bust. Is there two cisterns and two vines? There are two cisterns, but I don't know where the second one is or the one that you're talking about. Oh, hey, look. I don't really want to talk to the magistrate yet. I guess this is an alternative way to get in here if you don't have the key. If you've somehow avoided getting the key this entire time. Oh no, did the guy kill himself? Did I not make it? Damn. My leadership, you will. There was another one by the other cistern, I think. Yeah, it's all kind of blending together a little bit. Well, I should uh, talk to the wife. Claudia. I'm not supposed to be in here. My bad, I'll be going now. I should. This is outrageous. My bad. Oops. Wrong person. I guess I do have to talk to the magistrate. It's her. It's his daughter. I guess. Thank you. But I know if I do that, it might be. Um, it might be the end of this loop, and I don't really want to do that yet. Because I'm not really sure what's going to happen when I start that. Isn't the great temple majestic? It sure is. I want to talk to the Christian. Real quick. We'll find it. Eventually, we'll find everything. Uh, one thing I like about this place, this game, is that, like... It's a big-ish world, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not. And eventually, you will just kind of uncover everything. 
I like I like stuff like that. Like, you know, this this game really does have an Outer Wilds vibe. And that you will kind of over the course of time discover everything. So this is the great temple that I'm of trying to discover. Missing piece, missing piece, missing piece. So there's that's where the Roman plaque goes. I don't think I'm going to find all of these on this loop. I'm pro it's probably far too late for that. But, you know, nice to try. There's also some vines by the farm. All right, let's check out those uh, farm vines. I think I already did those ones. But I'll, I'll try anyway. I'm a 10. Do you remember? Um, yeah. Do you remember uh, where that weird um, philo philosopher dude is? Like, I can't remember where that guy is. It's funny to me that all of the most of the secrets in this game just amount to money. Money is like possibly one of the least important things in this world. This is where the portal appears. For the love of Jupiter, I cannot remember. That's all right. No worries. I have to wonder if it's in the the um where I got the golden bow in the first place. Like do you think it's there? I feel like it might be there. Like where I uh, shot the hornet's nest. It could be there. Can't you put Skyrim TM quest marker on him? Hey, you're, you're not wrong, actually. Virtuous man. Uh, the sinner. No, active. Search the locked room in Malleus's villa for Centilla. So wait a minute, Centilla is Malleus's daughter? No, it. Centilla is mag the magistrate's younger daughter. This is good actually, because it's this is reminding me of everything. Main goals: quid pro quo, common thread. Uh, create a time paradox. According to Sentius, I'll be flung back onto my to my own time if I can create a paradox. I'll need to change history in a way that makes my being in the past impossible. If I prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, then he'll never create the portal. Right. Um, collect all four, st four stolen plaques. Virtuous man. Uh, that's not it. It doesn't look like it's here, annoyingly. It, it looks like everything else is here, but not that. So I'm going to guess that it's in the shrine of uh, what's her face? The uh, the arrow, the, the 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 bow woman. Sorry, I'm like really bad with names. Do you mean the man in the cage? I do not mean the man in the cage. Um, I'm talking about the he's an old man underground somewhere and he challenged me to a philosopher's debate um, and the reason I couldn't actually talk to him was because he was he wanted me to find out who uh, this place belonged to and at the time I did not know but now I do know now I know that it belongs to Pluto right um, 
So that's why I want to go back there, but I cannot remember where the stupid dude is. And I'm pretty sure right now I can't even find where the stupid, uh, like, shop area is. Like the tavern. Okay, it's over there. I remember now. In here. No, not in here. Wait, did this thing turn back into vines? I didn't know that it could do that. Put in a cave. Well, I mean, let's try this because at least, um, you know. How'd you do? How come? Do I need the key again? Oh, hello, hello there, partner. I um, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I think there might have been some uh, confusion about my little practical joke. You see, my plan was to give you a little fright, you know, light. But when I opened it. Uh, I don't believe you. Partner, I swear. This is This guy really is patches. Look, why don't you keep our bow as compensation? You mean my bow? Don't worry, I'm keeping it. Fine, fine. It's a credit to you that you're able to see the humor in all of this. Now, can I help you with something? Yeah, give me the key. Very well. Another time. God damn it. So now I can't get back in there. This is so silly. There was a secret entrance in the place where the woman was crying. Was there not? There was an extra entrance, but I don't have the key for that, annoyingly. Um, there must be a way up here, right? Man, I'm really struggling right now. Okay, you know what? Let's just talk to the magistrate. That's what the game wants me to do right now. I'll do that. You would think I would be able to get back up there, and I know there's these these things, but they're not close enough to the ground. You would think I'd be able to sh make this turn into gold, but no. Wait, what? Did I actually do it? Did I jump on the tree? Oh, yeah. But it's still not close enough. There doesn't seem to be a way back up there, which is very strange to me. And I wasn't given a key to get back in there, which is also odd. A lot of things going on right now. What do you mean it is time? Aquisha? The election's on. Excuse me, I didn't know that this happened. Okay, hold on. I gotta talk to the magistrate now. Oh god, okay. It might be too late. It's just the way to the palace. I don't think you need to go there. Well, okay, well, let's let's see how this goes. I haven't actually seen this before I didn't even realize that this happened Can I talk to anyone else?
citizens. That's just a peeler we lady and her horrible experiments. Gathered here to elect the city's magistrate. The candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and Marcus Maliolus Gerges. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Maliolus. Dacius. Maliolus. Galerius. I abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil. Meliolus. Rufius. Meliolus. And finally, Domitius. Meliolus. Who else? Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Marcus Maliolus Gerges. Hail, Magistrate Maliolus. <sighs> I said, Hail, Magistrate Maliolus. That's more like it. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. No more shall you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the Golden Rule is no more. The Golden Rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Emperor. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. What? His sentence... Madness? ...to fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now for your entertainment. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Wait, I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Demetrius, ignore her. Proceed! This is insanity. You do us all. Lies! It is time the Golden Rule was exposed to what it is. A children's fable exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. This is why he's Can you idea. shoot an arrow in the it's sky and hit yourself when it lands? That's an Shut interesting up, idea. All of you. The magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. Impossible. The, the many, many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Well, that was a lot of nothing. I'm almost dead here. Okay, well... We learned a couple of things. Hold on a second. Like if I can talk to him about the about um, Cassius, kill the assassin, then win the election. Win it for who though? Keep an eye out for Centella, would you? Should I uh, win it for the magistrate, or should I win it for? Uh, for Georgius. <laughs> Whatever are you wearing? Yo, shut up. 
We're finally alone. I assume. We've had this conversation yeah, before. I, is that? Uh, could stop it being broken. Okay, so apparently I can't. Thank you. Now I have to go and find her again. If you're snooping around in my possessions, you're wasting your time. Oh! Ouch. Ooh. Oh god, okay. I have a lot of things I need to do now. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Okay, first of all, let me do the assassin bit. Alright, let's do the assassin part. Real quick. Help! You have Get right on it. Do not go in there. Just trust me. Okay, assassin, th 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 that part done. Assassin part coming up. Stop. Uh, there Thanks. you go. Okay, assassin done. I'm not. Even, I'm not gonna watch him die again. Also, do I have two bows still? Yes, I do. That's kind of hilarious. Whatever's in that great temple up there on the bluff. Hey, okay, can we go in here? No, we still need this guy's key. Can I grab the key from you? Hello there, friend. Took it from the shrine only to discover you'd locked me inside with angry hornets. I managed to escape and after a harrowing ordeal in the palace and traveling back in time, here I am. You'd never believe me if I told well, you. I'll take your word for it. Zuri Prince will tell you where you can get your own. It's not for oh, well. sale. Let me know if you change your mind. Um. Very well. Hold on. I I need to get in there. I thought. Well. Nah. Uh, two thousand denarii. Five thousand denarii. Oh, that's a little excessive, don't you think? It's not the boat. Think of it as an investment, a few little coins in exchange for riches beyond imagining. All right, all right. So I'm going to need you to tell me before I pay up. Deals off. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not be too hasty, friend. I just want a little assurance that I can trust you, that's all. Wait for the philosoph philosophers to crawl through the passage in the back of the Temple of Demeter. Uh, well, the golden rule won't allow me to not deliver on my promises. I suppose you're right. Here's your money now. The location you just gave me 5,000 denarii. It's in the Shrine of Diana. Uh, what? But I already knew that, you imbecile. Everyone knows that. I can't take that golden bow because stealing from the goddess in her own shrine would break the golden rule. You promised to tell me where I could get one of my own. You can take it. You'll be able to keep it for the rest of your life. What is this? Some cup. You gave me what I wanted, and I gave you what I promised. This was fun. We should do it again sometime. Don't even talk to me. Five thousand den denarii. Easy. Uh, do you also need to stop the guy from death? Yes. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know if I do. Get a tragic accident. Um, did you know it was going to collapse? Okay. I'll be going now. Ooh. Uh, I need to help the girl from dying. I'm just gonna do all of the like time sensitive stuff real quick. What are you doing in here? Shin Here's the Cephalum. You wouldn't believe uh, me? I think I'll be going now. Okay. Now we go stop the guy from uh, jumping off the cliff. Philosopher is behind the temple, not in it. Is it that temple? No, not that temple? Or this temple? Um, over here is, I believe, the entrance to the second uh, cistern, which I don't have the key for yet. I need to talk to the Christian. 
Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Well Salve. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, I, I Looking for a Roman plaque that was removed from the obelisk. Even if I had seen it, and I'm not saying I have, I couldn't in good conscience give it to you. That's all I'll say. Perhaps the magistrate would like to know about your beliefs. What you're doing is disgusting, and it's not going to work. Shame on you. Search Octavia's home for the Roman plaque. Where is Octavia's home? All right. Well, it was lovely to meet you. Well, that's a tonal shift in your to dialogue. To know you better over the coming months. And I can't believe this is how it ends. The Roman plaque <sighs> seems to still be there. No, 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 no. no. Oh, P.S. That's what? Why do you... I'm please. I'm sorry. Please help him. Uh, all right. I'll talk to him. Thank is this what Scintilla would want? You. You'll never believe me if I well, told you. you don't... It's, if I... I've already saved Lulia's life, and I'd like to help you, too. Oh, that was... Uh, do you... Wait, why do you need 2,000 denarii? Lulia and I are... I see. So... Actually, I do. Really? You'd be free. You'd... Of course. It's... Thank you. Here's your money. Thank you. I just wish there was some way I could... Don't worry about it. I'll go and take care of things with Maliolus and tell Yulia the good news. Yulia, not Lulia. Uh, if you save them, it's two votes. True. So, is this the temple you're talking about? Um, I'm a ten. Are you saying the philosopher is behind this temple? Crawl through the passage in the back of the Temple of Demeter. Oh. Demi or Demeter. Isn't that the, the one with the hornets in it, though? I don't know. I, I, I get very much confused about these things. But I'm going to go in that general direction. There's a few temples, and that's why I'm getting confused. Oh, we. I also probably need to convince Georgius to to run for magistrate because he'll be a voice of reason, maybe. So is this the temple? May Apollo keep you safe. Properly you when you're ready. I will. Thank you, LPS. I will. This is the great temple I'm talking about where you got your bow. Yeah. The problem is, is the only person who has the key is this jerk. And uh, I've actually already pissed him off, so he's not going to give me the key. Be so, careful who you trust. How about this time we um I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Georgius and see if I can convince him to run as magistrate. And we'll see if we can't accomplish that goal. Behind, not inside. Oh. My bad. Sorry. You you did actually say that. Yeah, is proof of a degenerate mind. There's a lot of nooks and crannies in this game and I I lose track of them all. All right, give me a chance. Is it just up here? No, this can't be right. Yo, I understand it. I would I would understand if you're losing your patience with me at this point. <laughs> oh, we found some more money. Found even more money. No, we didn't. Never mind. I thought that was money. Ooh. 
Perhaps the wrong temple. I'm sorry. No worries. It's it is a lot of stuff in this game and it's hard to remember all of it. I mean, there's a cave system over here. Like there's the whole like, you know, all, all there's supposed to be like a massive cave system near this um, theater, right? But I was down here and I could not find it for the life of me. And I looked. Search for the secret shrine in the caves. Figure out a way into the locked shrine. So this is the shrine of the, this is the Christian church. as I can tell I, I'm just curious how I'm supposed to find uh how am I how I'm supposed to find my way in there like normally perhaps behind the small shrine that killed the assassin I'll check that out in just a second there's a doll this is Navia's chest key to the chest in the shrine of Apollo Which I, I already did that and it didn't really amount to much. This is Livia's chest. She has a denarii, which makes sense. Everyone's got a denarii. This is um, Lucretia's chest. Whomst I, I can't even remember who Lucretia is, to be honest. Hey Neville, you're looking for the philosopher in the cavern. I am. In the stadium again, area, in with inside the building to the right, I think there's a hole head. in the wall. I could be wrong. And lets out his threefold graying. Livia, would you stop muttering like Medea over a cauldron? Perufius's chest. They He's got some denarii. What is this? An incomplete written lives. note addressed to Sinner. Okay, so Ignorant. Rufius is the one. Uh, threatening Virgil. We've discovered something. He's also apparently a Christian. Did not know that. So we're learning lots of things right now. Not not uh, actually relevant to our goal, but things. Hey, here's Kabash. Dream diary from Kabash in which he describes his recurring dreams about a stranger named Kirti. Okay, well, so that tells us about that we don't know where what happened to kabash who's uh whose door is this that we can't enter can i break these down whoops wrong wrong bow who's whose uh, place is this and why is it ransacked It's a broken wall, other side of the map. I, I I love how we're all struggling with this. Galerius. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue the stone. Hey, let's talk to Galerius. Let's like get that, get the show on the road with that. Oh, that was bad. I don't think I'm gonna succeed in this loop, but I'll try anyway. Do I still have um, some golden goose eggs? Golden bow, golden goose eggs, I do. Those look valuable. Glorious. I saw you slow and Strange, too, since that device you use is exactly the same as one I've been working on for weeks. There nice. I was thinking I'd invented it. Anyway, I'm sorry to ask, but... What do you need? Well, I've been trying to get this rare flower from the rock spire in the middle of the lake. It's too steep to climb, so I hung a rope over the lake and made this pulley device, only... I... Uh, 
couldn't quite summon the nerve to use it. Do you think you could use the device again and try to get that flower for me? Sure. Why do you need it, though? I, uh, I don't really... Sure, why not? Wait, come on, tell me. Do you have a little crush? Look, I'll tell you everything if you get it from me. Okay. Thank you. We'll get right on it. All right. Okay, so we're doing this now. I need to go up there. It's a rather large climb to, to attempt this once. Hey, Ulpius, are you going to vote for Galerius? Shalom. Oh, I haven't even gotten your you story. Mean, where am I from? And all, but when I was a child, I moved to Rome with my family. Romanized my name and spent most of my life in the Jewish district of Trans Tiberin, across the Tiber from the main city. That's where I was when the fires broke out. Everyone was running toward the river, and I, listening to my inner contrarian, ran the other way. Every road leading out of Rome was in chaos, full of people with all their belongings in carts and brigands preying on them. Several hours down the Appian Way, I saw another Jewish family being attacked by three opportunists. So I picked up a branch from the side of the road and went to defend them. I can only assume they got the better of me because the next thing I knew, I was waking up in a forest by a river not far from here with no memory of how I got there. It's strange though, because I still had my purse on me. Why would a robber knock me unconscious and throw me in a river, but not take my coins? Good for you for risking your life to help others. A lot of good it did me. And that you know a way out of I here. I don't. But what do you think of the golden rule? Well, neither of us have a couple of hours to stand around talking about theology, law, and collective punishment. So I guess you're looking for a pithy summary. <laughs> you remind me of an old story from my people about Hillel the Elder. He was approached by a Gentile and asked to explain the entire Torah while he stood on one foot. Obliging, he replied. What is hateful to you, do not do to another. That is the whole Torah. The rest is commentary. Go and learn. Of course, what I want to know is, what kind of a god sees a young woman abducted and does nothing about it? Not my god, that's for sure. Good question. Thanks. I just wish it. Who are you going to vote for? Sentius, I suppose. I'd have to be insane to vote for Maliolus after what he did to me. Fair enough. All right, friend. Thanks for the chat. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and get the flower for uh, Gallius. Sure, I'll just continue taking wine. Sounds good. Okay, I'm not really sure what button I need to press to do this. This also looks dangerous as all heck. Nope. Wow, I... I'm okay. So, I didn't succeed. We will... we will try again. Was pretty close. I almost have to jump off as soon as I begin. Might as well collect some money while we're at it here. Message redacted. How come I can't climb up this? Jumping in this game is proving to be difficult. Okay, all right. 
It was near to where you got the bow. I will check it out. I'm, I, uh, I figure, you know, may as well stick to one thing while we're at it. There's lots of things to discover. Okay. Nope, too soon. Damn, this is uh this is hard. Priestess. Yeah, what about the priestess? Cessius? Oh my god. Hot take seaweed is underrated. How is what? How? Oh. How? Is seaweed even rated? Who has rated seaweed? How is seaweed even like divisive enough to be rated? Like is it who who thinks positive like passionately enough about seaweed to be like yo it's it's bad oh my god this is uh this is proving to be really difficult i knew it was gonna be but like seaweed is great all foods are rated are they i'm gonna try this one more time and if i fail then i'm going to go look for the uh the philosopher again Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Okay, hold on. One more try. I have to stay on the zip line for like literally one second. Seaweed is great. Are you so what like in what context? Are you talking about the context of food? Oh god. Okay, hold on. One more try. I'm I'm so close. I have to stay on for like literally 0.8 of a second. Sorry, not 0.8. Uh 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 0.80. Like 0 0.8 of a second. And uh it's it's the timing is tricky. No. Nah. All right, I, I don't have it. I don't, I don't have it. Can I turn fish into gold? I don't know. Probably. I can hit them. So you're trying to get into the place where you first retrieve the golden bow? Yes. Well, sort of. No, not really. I mean, like, I am assuming that's where I have to go. That's where the philosopher was. I thought that the, that was where the philosopher was. Um, before I got into the palace where all of that extra stuff was going down. But I don't know, to be honest. I just straight up don't know where I'm trying to get to. I just have to find that stupid dude. And I knew he was going to be a pain in the butt to find when I started. <laughs> the, but, um, I can't remember where he is. I, I truly cannot remember. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go. Oh, hold is on. proof of a degenerate mind. What is it, citizen? I haven't talked to this guy like at all. I'm a legionary of the first Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here, so the magistrate has assigned me other duties. Count to two, I not three. On three, Mala, you miss. Keeping an eye on his daughters. Okay. I also keep a register of. How did you end up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl. And pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. 
That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People screaming, trampling each other. Then some Genetricum Fugitor tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river. And then... nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But... I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Sorry to hear that. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strength in the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been... What can you tell me about the Magistrate? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had, that's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. Do you know a way out of here? I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept my situation. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. That's from Seneca the Younger, if you're interested. Can I see the citizen register? I don't see why not. Aurelia? I don't know if I've met her. Take. Thanks. Of course. What do you think about the Golden Rule? Well, as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother in arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like Hundred Eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. It makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. Uh, where I'm from, that would be considered collective punishment, which is a war crime. A war crime? Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war, the law falls silent. Uh, our worlds are very different. Seems that way. War crimes. Ridiculous. You're saying you're in favor of it. What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh, and I've come to accept my lot. As with the Golden Rule, I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have. Which is sufficient, for he that is so wants nothing. If you like. Who are you going to vote for? Not that it's any of your business, but unfortunately, C. Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery, and intimidation. The man's a savage, but he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that sleaze of the helm. But... Uh, can I help? I appreciate the thought, but you're new here. And I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. All right? True that. Um, all right. So, um, y'all were saying that it's... There's a hole nearby. Hole in a wall. All characters in this game are really well written, IMO. Very believable, if a bit calm and philosophical at times. I don't mind that. I don't mind calm and philosophical. Um, I kind of appreciate that, you know? Let me look near the collapsed um, shrine, maybe? 
You say. Okay. To this right? Like up here? This is just up to the temple. I'm I'm gonna await your uh, response about this uh, to your right. Like further in where the assassin came from. Oh, okay. Well, from where the assassin came in is just the baths. I don't think there's anything interesting in there. I'll go in there. Or are you okay? Hold on. Have I been in here? This is a completely different shrine that I don't think I've ever seen. Okay, all right. God damn. We done it. We did it. <laughs> it only took us the entire, uh, you know, stream, but I did finally find the stupid dude. This is it. I'm sorry. I was, uh, uh I missed it so many times. Is it just me or is the bow really annoying when you're running? When you're running with it. Come and join me by the fire. All right, here we go. Welcome, welcome. May I ask your name? I'm Bimple. You first. It is best you do not know my name, for merely to speak of my existence in the city above. Yo, are you Pluto? On you all. Tell me, what brings you all the way down here? Um, I'm looking for a plaque that was removed from the obelisk. Ah, yes, that cursed thing. I know exactly where it is. I will tell you everything I know, but first, a request. I have been living down here alone for the one thing I long for. Let us. Okay, Pluto, god of the underworld. Excellent. I see you are indeed quite astute. Very few come to that realization before their time in the sun is over. Now, will you join me in a friendly Socratic dialogue? Oh, yo, I would love nothing best. Nothing, nothing more than that. Uh, sounds easy enough. Wonderful. Then let me begin with a question. Would you say you know the difference between right and wrong? Uh, something... I, it's not something I often think about is not really what the answer I want. I'm not sure it's a complex question. You are an overthinker too. We're the same then. This is probably why I became a philosopher. But if you struggle with right and wrong normally, then down here with the golden rule, surely your struggle can only have become more difficult. Uh, it is. Well, that's reassuring. And the truth is, you're not alone. You see, out there in the world, being uncertain about right and wrong was acceptable, because our mistakes rarely had consequences. So we would tell lies and bend rules, and turn a blind eye and rationalize, and yet still find a way to think of ourselves as good people. But under the golden rule, morality matters. The slightest wrongdoing could result in a mass God, execution. I hate philosophy. <laughs> so to navigate this maze, we would have to be certain about the difference between right and wrong. Wouldn't you agree? Of course. But whose version of right and wrong? That is an excellent question, and it leads directly to my next line of inquiry. So let me ask you this. Is there one system of morality which is always perfectly correct, which you could follow in every situation 
and always do the right thing. Um, I don't think so. Are you sure? Or is it possible that humans simply haven't figured out the right system yet? I think there's no such thing as a correct morality. I mean, even the idea of a correct my morality is probably incorrect morality. I don't, I don't think so. Obviously there is one, I don't agree. I think there are better moralities, but I don't think they're always correct. It's like science, but dumb. Mm, no, I don't agree with that. So is it up to each of us to decide what right and wrong mean to us individually? Or must we simply follow the laws and customs of whichever community we're in? Um... Pragmatically, probably follow the laws, but um, on an actual ethical basis, we probably need to decide for ourselves. But I don't know what the game wants me to, to say here. I would say we need to decide for ourselves. So if a man feels that stoning to death his unfaithful wife is right, then is it right? No. I agree, but why? Didn't you just say right and wrong depends on the individual? But you could also contrive a situation in which your morality is, for the most part, considered correct, which is also, like, legally wrong, and, you know, like, I, I don't know. But you can always contrive a situation in which uh, a, a moral thinking seems right and then also is wrong in other cases. He's confused or sick. I see. So you get to decide right from wrong. The people who see things differently are not allowed. What makes you special? Eh, uh, okay. And that's a credit to you. It is the mark of a civilized person to change their position when presented with a superior argument. Uh, let's, let's go back. I want to change my answer. Good. Never discourage anyone who continually makes progress, no matter how slow. Would you say you know the difference between right and wrong? Let's continue with this line You're of reasoning. You're an overthinker too. But if you... It is. Well, that you so, but under the so. We would have to be certain about the difference between right and wrong, of course. So let me ask you this: Is there one system of morality which is always perfectly correct, which you could follow in every situation and always do the right thing? If you think there exists uh, objectively correct or moral choices, then you set all of. The set of all choices over the set of all possible situations would be an objective morality. Are you asking me or are you talking about the guy? Which you could follow in every situation and always do the right thing. Let's say that they're... Uh, yes. Let me guess. Is it yours? Mm, no. And that's a credit to you. What's your point? My point is this. I don't think anyone alive truly knows any hard and fast rules about right and wrong. Uh, what about do not kill? See, this is the, this is the very, like, hyperbolic example. Do not kill someone, right? That is always what it comes down to, is it's immoral to kill someone, right? I mean, I think we could all pretty much agree on that right but then there are going to be a circumstance in which you could contrive a situation in which it would be immoral not to kill someone i know that sounds insane of course it sounds insane but like i say it's contrivance you can create any situation and probably that situation has occurred at some point so there's always going to be a situation in which what you think is an objectively moral point isn't objective because there's always going to be a situation in which that moral uh, rule is broken. Philosophy is 
worse than game theory. So, which I'm a ten, which is the point. I mean, this game is cool that you actually debate Roman philosopher. Shame all debates conclude to a thought that no one knows nothing. Um, is it that we don't know, or that, like, we there are no objective facts? We know not knowing. The most objective thing that we know is that we know nothing. That's still knowing something. But I mean, I yeah, I take what you what you say. Like that's sure fair, you know. Um. But let's continue with this line of reasoning. What about do not kill? Surely you would agree there are circumstances <laughs> where an exception may be made. Well, I wouldn't Such agree with this at all. Necessary for self-defense or to prevent a greater evil. For any rule, you can imagine there are countless situations in which that rule may be suspended, and those situations are impossible to codify. If there is one thing I have observed about rules, it is that virtuous people do not need them, and evil people will always find a way around them. And so we must accept our limitations, and the sad truth that no human society will ever achieve the utopia for which it strives. In mathematics, we would call it an asymptote, a line that can be approached but never reached. Because the only way to create a utopia is with the ever-present threat of force, such as the golden rule. This and no other is the root from which a tyrant springs when he first appears as a protector. And life under tyranny is no utopia at all. I agree, sure. I'm glad to hear that. In any case, thank you for humoring an old man. I would be happy to answer your questions. Okay, let me, let me attempt, let me attempt for a moment. An a objective morality, okay? I know this is I'm probably gonna fail here but let me attempt we can agree for the most part that objectively that suffering exists right where there is life there is suffering and so it would be objectively true that to lessen suffering would be an objective moral good yes that I think that that is as close to an objective moral as we're ever going to get to lessen suffering is morally good. And that is like as close to like just a, an umbrella rule as we can get. So the idea of a human utopia is one where suffering does not exist. I'm not talking about life and death. I'm not talking about people dying. Uh, I'm talking about suffering. And in that case, uh, th therein lies a lot of room for growth there like you might you might I know you what you're gonna say you might say at least you could come at me with well then are you saying Bimple that incarceration should not exist in your utopia I'm saying in uh, in my utopia where suffering does not exist incarceration does is is not the same uh, incarceration is, does not exist it does not involve suffering we do not deliberately cause suffering to others in order to punish them, to show them consequences. And in some places in our current world, that is true. Um, the idea of consequences or punishment uh, on someone um, is not a form of causing them suffering, but a, a, like trying to give them growth, trying to bring them back, trying to help them. They are sick. They need help. They're suffering. Let's lessen that. So, you know, so if I kill someone that's suffering, then it's good. I mean, in some circumstances, that is true. Like, you know, there was a time in our existence where the idea of like suicide was uh, a sin and therefore illegal, right? Like you illegal in the sense that if you did it, then you were going to go to hell. And there is that was the objective moral truth. However, now in our current society, society, there are circumstances in which you know you're going to be suffering and therefore, um, you know, we have like an actual like uh, medical way to carry forward that action, right? It is no longer seen as uh, a completely objective 
truth or objective fact that killing someone is always bad. And I know that like, it's difficult to even say that or talk about that because it's like, well, how can you possibly admit a circumstance in which killing someone wouldn't be bad when you could very easily think of many examples in which it would not be bad. Objectively, it was a moral choice to steal all the food supplies from those survivors in cargo hold because it will lessen it. Those people don't exist, I'm a tan. <laughs> they don't suffer. That was not an objective suffering because they don't exist, which is why I don't like moral choices. Specifically, do not like being guilted over moral choices in games because they don't exist. They're not real. <laughs> they are not real. <laughs> It's not dictionary, but it's good. So what if I kill someone that's slightly suffering? Is that good then? Under my definition, killing someone that is slightly suffering would be still bad. Under my definition, helping someone not suffer would be better than killing them. If there is a no way to lessen someone's suffering and that death would be a, a better, you know, end for them, then yes, maybe. A lot of a lot of questions are asked before we consider that route. I think that's fair. Real playing is part of the fun anyway. And I mean, like, I don't necessarily role play in combat based games, and I know that prey is like a you know stealth slash combat, but you know what? I, like, I think I think uh, I, I can say that it's less role play. But you know, I'll take your point. You know, it's it's fine to ask these questions in other games, and sometimes I also just like to steal all the food on the table, and I don't think I should feel bad about that. Ergo, okay, minimize suffering, maximize happiness is heuristics. I didn't realize it had a food. Uh, ergo, drug them um, up, comatose, hooked up to machines, endless bliss. Uh, I think there's a lot of room between lessen someone's uh, suffering and then hook them up to the matrix. But you know what I mean? Like um, in the perfect utopia, people don't die or age. They, they're, we're, we're happy, not in a blissful, like always completely uh, euphoric sense, but like we have the uh, pretensi pretensity, that we have the ability to ob obtain happiness, you know, like that's that's the idea right um that's why the idea of like a uh, dyson spheres really interests me or the idea of of uh you know like uh, achieving our, our like very base goals of we don't have to worry about energy we don't have to worry about food we don't have to worry about aging um those are obstacles towards achieving some kind of utopia those are obstacles which create suffering solve our very base desires like you know how much do we need oxygen food and water and shelter warmth like these are sensations that cause us suffering and once those are solved then we can start talking about what is moral you know that's at least a maybe objectively more moral earth than the one that we currently live in that's why i hate philosophy well uh, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. What's your story? Anyway, that Bimple has shared their philosophy today. What's your story? I mean, how did I end up living alone in this cave with nothing but these relics of the past for company? It's a long story. I'm listening. I was a quarrelsome young man. At 19, I left Corinth for Rome to study rhetoric at one of her finest academies, so I could argue more forcefully. Back then, I used to enjoy verbally sparring with everyone I could, and I was good. One night, I found myself in a tavern, in an argument with a drunken mercenary. It became heated, he drew a gladius, and I won the argument, but lost my life. I woke up on the banks of the Styx at a campfire opposite Karen. Of course, I tried to persuade her to let me return, but even with all my skill, I failed. I settled in, made friends, and learned what I could. 
quickly realizing our little community faced certain death under the golden rule. So I began looking for a place to hide underground. Fortunately, I found this place waiting for me. You see, I was not the first to take refuge here. I returned to my friends above, persuaded them to join me, and 12 of us descended for the last time to live out our days hidden from Hades tyranny. Hades, you mean Pluto. Well, those are two, those are both the same person. They are one and the same. The Romans call him Pluto. Long before that, my people called him Hades. I, uh, I more appreciate the aesthetics and the vibes generally of Greek uh, mythology than Roman. I don't like the idea that like, planets or gods or whatever, like, I don't know. It's, I, I, I think Greek is a bit more accessible and interesting to me. Why can't you return to the surface? My generation was wiped out, turned to gold many years ago. My friends and I were able to avoid the same fate by hiding down here. I think it's safest to assume that if I was to return, Hades would realize that his furies hadn't finished the job, and he'd send them after me again. Hmm, interesting. So is that why you can't tell me your name? I fear that if you were to utter my name in the city, even by mistake, that Hades would hear you and know I am still alive. Where is everyone else? I'm afraid I am the only one left. There were 12 of us in the beginning, but one by one, my friends passed away. Some from malnutrition, others from madness and despair. I figured people couldn't die down been, here. Or age. I, I don't know why Before I thought that. Before my unexpected visit from Kabash some weeks ago, I had not seen another person in many, many years. How have you survived down here? Living in darkness is not without its challenges. The first challenge is diet. Fortunately, I found that eating fresh fish provides most of the nutrients I need. And sometimes, when there are Greek people living up above, I surface at night and salvage the offerings they've left in the temple of Demeter. The greater challenge is the isolation. So I like to imagine arguments, where I argue both sides. But, like so many things in life, arguments are better with a partner. As you wish. Uh, do you know a way out of here? <laughs> If I did, would I be living like this? Maybe. You might consider leaving to be immoral. What do you think about the golden rule? Did we not discuss it at length already? Oh. Do you know where I can find a plaque that was removed from the obelisk? You seek the plaque bearing the Egyptian inscription? That's the one. It is a cursed object, and I would be happy to give it to you if Kabash had not already taken it. Tell me where Kabash is, then. I will tell you, but you may find him hostile. To prepare for your encounter, there are certain things you must know. Very few know this, but before the Romans came to this city, it was once entirely Greek. The architecture, the temples, and the people. When the Romans came, in typical fashion, they claimed it as their own. Built over everything that could be built over, and renamed the things that could not. Thus, the Shrine of Persephone became the Shrine of Proserpina. And when they found an obelisk bearing the name Hades, they tore it off and replaced it with Pluto instead. And the city's dwindling Greek residents, witnessing this compulsive Roman conquest, decided to preserve what they could of their heritage. They gathered their art and valuables, secreted them away through the Temple of Demeter, and hid them here, out of reach of the Romans. I'm with you so far. However, there was one thing that always seemed out of place to me, and it is the very thing you seek. An even older plaque bearing an Egyptian inscription. What did it say? We had no idea until years later, when the first of my friends began to die. As a result of their deaths, we began to dig catacombs branching off from this cavern to lay them to rest. We extended the tunnel so far that we accidentally discovered another, an even older tunnel, 
which somebody had gone to great lengths to keep hidden. Yo, underground Suddenly cavern gate was right. There was an out of place Egyptian plaque among our people's possessions. You see, we proud Greeks had thought the Romans beasts for stealing and corrupting our heritage. But it turns out this game has been going on much longer than any of us imagined. I think it is best you head through the catacombs and follow Kabash's trail. What's in there? There are certain things you must see for yourself. Take this key. You need it to open the gate. I enjoyed our chat, but please keep my presence here a secret. Yes. All right. I mean, it'd be nice if I knew their name. If the golden rule is broken, I always I can always come back. It's an interesting idea, though. Okay. Well, I mean, I enjoyed our, our little uh, philosophical uh, debate. I find it interesting. I like asking questions and I like uh, sometimes not knowing the answer, you know? Enter the catacombs. Friend of the philosopher. This is really cool. I like the idea that um, there's a city that has been changing over, over like forever. It keeps changing cultures because there's new people that get added to it. Philosophy is not the root of math. It's where Boolean algebra came from and logical proofs. It's the pseudo philosophers like Kant that impossible axioms that give it a bad name. That was the one thing I, I know that uh, it's probably pretty trite um, to maybe a lot of you, but I, I one thing I appreciated about the good place is how someone can end up in the bad place um, because they follow the philosophy of Kant. You know, if you keep questioning what is and what is not good, instead of trying to do the good thing, or if you're trying to do the good thing based on that philosophy and you keep end up being a jerk to everyone, then eventually you're just like, you're just gonna end up in hell. <laughs> I don't, you know, don't necessarily agree, but I think it's a funny statement. Egyptian board game, check that out. Seems to be locked from the other side. Um, I just realized I'm still I'm still in I'm still in the uh, the mall <laughs> I'm, st I'm still in the mall I was wondering like what is that weird part of the music I mean I'm kind of digging it but it's like also I kind of feel like I need to turn the sound down but it was it was the the mall the entire time. Yo, is this a pyramid? It fit perfectly. It did, right? I didn't even question it. The same way I see humans and monkeys. Humans came from monkeys, and humans are vastly smarter and better at everything. First mummy film slapped. What year was it? Yo, I love that first movie. Um Interesting that it only takes one shot to kill these lads. Locked from another side. Is that Silent Hill reference? <laughs> Is that a Dark Souls reference? 
Yo, kick? Wait a minute, it's not it's not displaying. Why wasn't it displaying? God damn it. I'm sorry. Guys, guys. Kick? Is that a Duke Nukem reference? Oh yeah. It's time to chew gum. That's it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna chew some gum. Yeah. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. So this statement was true in Egyptian times as well. Interesting. It's time to chew gum. Yo, oh, can you stand still, please? Damn. Uh, something interesting must be happening. I'm sorry. Man. Why do you guys have to be so many? Ah. I should save on the off chance. Statue of Acker. Acker? An ancient Egyptian deity said to guard against the evil spirits and welcome the undead of the underworld. Is it just me or do these golden statues look like they have a little bit of wear and tear? They've been around for a little bit longer. <coughs> you. you <coughs> Duke Nukem reference usually an act of picking up a turd from the toilet. That was just Duke Nukem forever. That didn't happen in the original game, did it? It's actually way creepier when the uh, statues don't have a face. That, that's Anubis, right? I assume that's Kabash. Stop. Do not come any closer. Who are you? I'm Bimple. Who are you? <laughs> I am Kabash. Hmm. And let me guess. Another Greek or Roman come to loot and plunder the resting place of my ancestors. Hmm? I'm just looking for an Egyptian plaque. Hmm. To what end? Stop, you have violated the law. I want to return it to the obelisk. Hmm, that is welcome news. You really are not Greek or Roman, are you? I was planning to return it myself, but for now, I must remain. Here, take it and restore the honor of Osiris. Thank you. That was easy. That was a little too easy. Now, as for the other plaque... The fourth plaque, you know about that? Indeed, I have it right here. I stumbled across a collection of dusty curiosities while searching for a place to hide from the hungry children of Amit, and there it was. Uh, may I have it? You may not. In fact, I am about to destroy it. Uh, why? Because it speaks a treacherous, blasphemous lie. Oh, uh, so? I will tell you, but first, do you know what this place is? Mm, the Duat? Oh, that's my archaeologist insight. Indeed, and I see you know our history. This is the Duat. See what has become of it. I have been down here for weeks, piecing together its story, and here is what I have learned. As Egypt declined and the Greeks had their turn to flourish, their souls came here in great numbers. But instead of adopting our ways, they copied and corrupted them. When they found the obelisk bearing the name Osiris, the true god of the underworld, 
They desecrated it, removing his name and replacing it with uh, Hades. Even the ferryman of the dead, known to my people long before as Kerti, they renamed to Keron. As if that desecration was not enough, they built over this place, using it as the foundation for their own underworld, so that ours was forgotten. Hmm, <laughs> my only solace is that the Greeks then suffered the same fate when the Romans rose to power, renaming Hades to Pluto, and this cycle began anew. So what's the problem with this plaque? It is inscribed with a script I do not recognize, but it is ancient, almost as if it is older than the plaque bearing Osiris's name. But if that is so, is it going to be Jesus? It would imply the gods of Egypt are mere imitations too, copied oh no, it's and older corrupted than... from an ancient people who prospered even before us, and that my people did to them what the Greeks and Romans did to us. But this I cannot accept. I sense a deception. Perhaps it is the work of Set, the usurper, seeking to undermine Osiris once more. What does the inscription say? You will never know. No, way. This work of sacrilege must be destroyed, thrown into the black abyss below in Osiris' name. Uh, do it and I'll kill you. What do y'all think, chat? Please don't stop. I need that. Do it and I'll kill you. I feel like this guy won't care about dying. I feel like he cares more about his god than he does about death. Please don't. You are too late. No! It is done. No! I wish you hadn't done that. Now I'm gonna have to go after it. You would plunge into the depths of the Duat with no way back up. Madness. Uh, well, see. First, I have some questions for you. If it will help you to see reason, then ask. What's your story? <laughs> I am from Rakotis, which you may know as Alexandria, the name of the city the Greeks built over it. I was a fisherman, like my father before me. Since the Romans had taken over from the Greeks, I took the opportunity to learn Latin and eventually traveled to Rome. When the fires broke out last year, I tried to help. I gathered terrified locals into my boat and led many of them to safety farther along the Tiber. On my seventh trip, a passenger demanded I wait for his brother. But we were full to almost sinking and smoke was all around us. I told him his brother would have to save himself, and he tried to bribe me by placing a coin into my hand. When I refused, he drew a dagger and thrust it between my ribs. I awoke on the banks of the river to a stranger wearing a ram headdress. He said his name was Kerti, and at the time I simply thought him odd. It did not dawn on me until much later that he was THE Kirti, the ram-headed ferryman described in the Book of the Dead. Do you know a way out of here? This is where I belong, as caretaker of the memories of my people. If our ways are to be remembered, it falls to me. What do you think about the Golden Rule? I think if someone is to break the Golden Rule, it will not be me, for I try to live as I always have by the command of the goddess Ma'at. Do to the doer to make him do. As for the punishment that will come from it, I finally understand why it has long been said among my people that gold is the skin of the gods. What do you think is down there? I do not know. What could possibly lie beneath the underworld? Perhaps it is infinite darkness. Perhaps it is the lair of Amit, the devourer of souls. All I know is, it would be unwise to venture down there. That just makes me want to go down there even more. Is everyone so contrary where you are from? Do not even consider it. I'm going now. Good. Be gone. Wait. You are planning <laughs> to go down there. 
I see it in your eyes. Yo. Definitely. You would plunge into the depths of the duat. I'll find a way back up. Hmm. All right, chat. Here we go. With my trusty golden bow. Isn't the Book of the Dead a reference to Th <laughs> Toa's book? Evil Dead reference? Well, these uh, statues look a lot more um, detailed than the ones upstairs. How many layers do you think this uh, city goes, chat? How, how, how many layers deep do you think it goes? Do you think I could punch down through this... Uh, the sand and find yet even more ruins. How far does uh, Tunnel Gate go? Seems to me this larger round boulder, which appears to have rolled into the wall, smashing it open and causing water to flow out. I want to hear from the uh, the tunnel conspiracy crowd in chat. How deep do you think this city keeps going? Oof. What's that? That looks like something interesting. No. Oh no. Okay. I regret. I regret walking over here. Many a layer till the first coin or valuable that could be traded. That's an interesting idea. I like that idea. It was, uh, like the coin itself that created this place. The concept of currency. But what would that be? You know, like what, what would that have even been? You know, there's some cultures that there's their idea of currency or their currency form is just marks in a stone. And when you b sell or buy something, you, uh, they, they mark it in their stone. Corroded brass plate with Sumerian mark markings on it. It appears to be a pressure plate of some kind of trap. Hey, you know what I didn't look at? I didn't look at the mysterious plaque. Sumerian pla plaque. Nergel, the fierce one. Is that before Egyptians? Oh no. Uh So we are going we are truly going Dark Souls with this city, huh? Oh no. could be some sort of stone or metal like god since there has been a theme of it sounds almost as worthless currency printed on paper huh well uh you would be correct uh, unfortunately this society actually existed not so long ago i think they maybe have like been not current but you know recent ish and uh someone uh, from a more modern culture you could say more modern um decided to go with their own stone <laughs> and uh quotation marks buy all of their valuables and uh completely destroyed their their form of uh currency their their like their entire um culture collapsed basically one guy and his stone. I feel like if I keep making these boulders appear. When I told you that you would not find a way back up, that was not a prediction. That was a promise. You will die here. 
There's no need for this to end in violence. I'm gonna try and get him to die to a trap. I disagree. I warned you against coming down here, against perpetuating this sacrilege, but you persisted. You have undermined and dishonored the true god of the underworld. How did you think this would end, if not with bloodshed? Just hear me out. Very well, I will listen. But if I sense deception, or if you further insult my gods, I will carry out my threat. So tell me, why should I let you live after you salvaged this instrument of blasphemy? Something can be destroyed by the truth. It deserves to be destroyed by the truth. That's That would be insulting to his god, right? There's no shame in building on the works of people who came before you. I don't think they will accept this answer. I'm just trying to replace all the plaques taken from the desecrated obelisk. I think that that is the closest to an uninsulting answer. Why? To what end? I'm hoping it'll earn me an audience with the god of the underworld. Yeah, that's that's fair. But why? What business could you have with Osiris? Uh, I'm going to confront him about the golden rule. I'm going to demand that he let everyone go. This is, uh an interesting option and it doesn't confront his god blasphemous fool oh well you have sealed your own fate if you attack me you'll break the golden rule <laughs> good i welcome it you see the philosopher told me that each time it breaks osiris bellows with rage and his voice shakes the very foundations of the earth I can only hope one more tremor will lay waste to this fragile place once and for all, and you along with it. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Wrong way. No, I'm lost. I think this is the way. Maybe the old man will tell me his name now that the golden rule has been broken. Is he already gone? Where is he? Long ways away. Imagine paying Karen in crypto. Uh, this is taking a while. Okay, there we go. Crypto Bros Underworld be, I wonder. I think Crypto Bros Underworld would be closer to our idea of utopia. <laughs> Fun ride. Salve, friend. 
Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? Golden rule is going to be broken soon. I need you to quietly get everyone except Sentius ready to run into the upper cistern one. The ground starts to rumble. Interesting idea. Uh. Oh. See you later. We don't want to do that yet. Um, so I have three of the four um, quacks. Not sure where the last one is. Oh, actually, why don't we try to get that flower one more time? The 49 melodies fetch. I'm a 10. You said uh, count to two, right? One, two. Nope, too far. It's not even two, it's like one and a half. I counted really fast there, too. Salve. Salve. So, lads, uh, I am going to have to go now. I know I'm cutting the stream off real quick. Uh, yo, we did it. You're now. Don't you just uh, love springtime? No, I don't. I don't. I hate it. Shut up. Shh. Shut. Up. You can send me Mr. Papyrus pepper to give medicines. You can. Yeah, that's true. Give me one more second here. No. Nope. God damn it. All right. This is, this is my last attempt here, and then I am shutting down stream. Fun ride. That's just, that's the last thing I see in chat. Fun ride. Yes. Done. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it right here. We're gonna save on my achievement here All right, thanks very much everyone for joining me um, For stream, thanks very much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, Hey a quick reminder. There's a discord if you want to join the discord. It's uh, links in the is, is pinned Come hang out in the discord <laughs>